In today's episode, Aditya asks, what do you see as the top data challenges facing marketers in the next couple of years? Oh, so prediction. I, people love prediction this time of year. Uh, it is late 2018, late in the years as I record this. And uh, making predictions is difficult and hazardous because the rate of technological change is so accelerating that uh, a, a prognostication of some kind could easily be proven wrong in days. Uh, probably one of the most famous examples of a, of a challenge or a, a prediction that went awry was um, someone was predicting that it would take deep learning something like 20 years to be able to do something like win a game of Go. And this prediction was made in uh, 2016, uh, 2015. And of course, in late 2016, Google's DeepMind won Go. So what was supposed to take 20 years took about 18 months. <clears throat> so there's, there is always that risk. Now, while it's difficult to make any kind of predictions uh, like that, uh, there is one sea change that's already underway that marketers are failing at and is only going to get worse. And that is our <clears throat> collective over-reliance on personally identifiable information. Uh, we fuel a lot of legacy marketing technology and legacy uh, marketing methods on these demographics and firmographics and descriptors of people. So, for example, we make a lot of assumptions about a customer based on their age, their gender, uh, where they live, uh, even the domain name of their email address, particularly in, in that case for B2B marketing. Uh, the assumption is, oh, you work for a big company, uh, you're slightly more qualified. Now, there are some marketers who are doing very sophisticated segmentation, but personally identifiable information is going away. In some fashion or form, it is going away in the next few years. In 2018, we saw GDPR take effect, which every marketer uh, scrambled to, to try and, and meet compliance with and did so with varying degrees of success. But marketers didn't really change their behaviors per se. They just had to do a better job of securing that data. And then not, what, five months after, had the largest hack in history, uh, Marriott being compromised for, to the tune of like 500 million records. So as these, these security breaches and things continue, it will get harder and harder to get a hold of any non-first party data and it will get more and more dangerous for us to hold on to personally identifiable information. At some point, it will be too risky. At some point, someone's going to go, it's not worth having this data. The security risks are too high, and we're not using the data as well as we could be anyway. So what's the solution? The answer is uh, getting away from basic descriptors like personally identifiable information and moving towards behavioral data. And this is going to take a while. Uh, it's going to, it, it is a mindset for marketers to, to change that is very difficult. The idea that you don't need to know that this person's a 44 year old uh, Hispanic female. You don't need to know that this person is, uh, you know, is a parent that that uh, of, of two kids. What you do need to know is, is the way that person has behaved in their interactions with you up until this point. What pages do they visit on your website? How did they interact with you in social media? Not did they, but what was the tone and the tenor and the sentiment, and the, the words and the pace which, which they interacted with you? Um, when they interact, how many channels have they interacted with you on? Have they emailed you? Have they texted you? Have they messaged you on Messenger? 
And all of these behavioral factors are things that we need to build our algorithms around, our software around, our, uh, our ability to, to do modeling and prediction. In a lot of cases, we have the raw materials already. We know via things like Google Analytics what pages you've been on and uh, how long you've spent on those pages. We know via our email marketing software whether you've replied to an email. We know via social media marketing software um, that you've engaged with us. So we know those things, but the data is kind of all over the place and it's difficult for people to build models around that, to wrap their brains around the idea like, I don't need to know who you are, I just need you to, I just need to know what you're doing so that I can show the appropriate things for you. When you think about it though, as humans, we've had no problem with this in the past. When, go back, go back 50 years, go, uh, when somebody walks into your store, what do you know about them? Nothing. You know nothing about all about them, but you can look at them, you can watch them, you can watch how they behave. Do they linger in certain aisles? Do they pick an item up off the shelf and put it back? Uh, if they're with somebody, do they talk to somebody about that? Uh, <clears throat> when I was growing up, you know, kids used to hang out at the mall. Uh, they don't really do that anymore. Uh, not like that, that was the thing to do. And they would rove in packs and, and talk and discuss and, and loiter around stuff that they liked. We still do that. We just do that digitally now. <clears throat> we do digital loitering all day long. And that's an that can be an indicator. So the top data challenge for marketers is getting away from PII, from personally identifiable information, and moving towards behavioral collection, uh, analysis, and forecasting. It's going to be a long road to get there, but it's going to be a road we have to get on sooner rather than later because it will not be long before uh, regulations, increasing privacy regulations, will force us to do that. As long as our, the companies we work for prove to be irresponsible or outright uh, criminally neglectful of the data that they are entrusted with. Well, that will be a, a, a growing challenge. So start thinking about how do you plan for that? How do you start building models now? How do you start collecting the data now and getting it into an accessible place? Because if you do, you'll be ahead of the curve. Uh, and you'll be able to offer privacy guarantees that other competitors can't offer. They'll say, we're not going to collect your information because we don't need it. We know who you are, or we know, we know what you want, even if we don't know who you are. It's a great question. Uh, Future forecasting, always difficult, so take it with a grain of salt. If you have any follow-up questions, please leave them in the comments. And then, of course, uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and the newsletter. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Want help solving your company's data analytics and digital marketing problems? Visit trustinsights.ai today and let us know how we can help you.